Today we are going to start a new chapter. Tens and ones. Like this, we have done one more chapter na, earlier, counting in tens, where I had shown you how to stack ten spoons and put a rubber band on them. You remember? So children, now we are in class two. We are big children. So sometimes when we have to buy a pencil or uh, an eraser, a scale, so Papa and Mama, they give us the money and they tell us, Please buy it from the stationery shop in your school and we buy it. So today we are going to learn how much money we should give to buy different items. Always it is written on the item what is the cost of the item. How much money should we pay to the shopkeeper uncle so that he can give us that pen or pencil or cello tape like that it is written so today we are going to learn how much money should we give when we buy an item also we will do one more activity and what will be that activity a number would be given to us and we are going to keep those many beads as the number is there for example 23 number is there so what I have done I have made tiny tiny garlands of 10 beads each in one garland there are 10 beads so if I want to make a number 23 23 two tens and three ones so I will take two garlands of 10 beads each and 3 beads along with that. I will show it to you just now. Okay, come, let's do the activities. The cost of this glue stick is rupees 32. Children, I hope you know this is the sign of rupees. So the cost of this glue is rupees 32. So how we will give rupees 32? We will give 3 10 rupee coins. Please have a look at it. They are 3 10 rupee coins and 2 1 rupee coins. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 makes 30 and 2 rupees coins makes 32. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So this is the cost of the glue stick. Now the cello tape. Cello tape costs rupees 25. So we will give two 10 rupee notes. See there are two 10 rupee notes and we need to give five coins of one rupee each. So we, these are the five coins. So the cost of the cello tape is rupees 25. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is 25 rupees. So the cost of cello tape is 25 rupees. Now this is a scale. The cost of the scale is rupee 3. Since it is rupee 3, so we do not need to give any 10 rupee note because it is less than 10 rupees. It is only rupees 3. So we will give 3 1 rupee coins to buy this. So the 3 1 rupee coins are these. So the cost of this scale is 3 rupees 1, 2 and 3. So these three coins of one rupee each will make rupees three. Okay, the cost of this pen is rupees eleven. So rupees eleven, a ten rupee note and a one rupee coin will make rupees eleven. So we will give one ten rupee note and one one rupee coin. So ten plus 1. 10 plus 1 is 11. 
so rupee 11 is the cost of this pen now this is the paper cutter the cost of the paper cutter is rupees 43 so let us give 43 rupees to the shopkeeper we will give four notes of 10 rupees each okay so let me see if i have four notes yes i have one two three and four these are the four notes of 10 rupees each and they make 10 20 30 40 40 rupees but i have to give rupees 43 so i will give one two and three three rupee coins so children this makes 43 10 20 30 40 41 42 and 43 so the cost of this cutter is rupees 43 47 47 beads I have to make a group of 47 beads so children I have made small garlands of 10 beads each there are 10 beads in this 10 20 30 40 so there are four garlands four garlands of 10 beads each that will make 40 and there are seven beads which are loose so you please see are there seven beads which are loose see this one two three four five six seven so this makes 47 10 20 30 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 so this makes 47 okay 36 36 30 means three tens so i will get three garlands of 10 beads each okay 10 20 30 the 10 20 30 so these are 30 beads now i need six beads loose so i am going to keep six beads loose let us count whether they are six 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are 36 beads okay 14 1 and 4 14 it means 1 tens and 4 loose so 1 garland of 10 beads this is 1 garland of 10 beads and we are going to have 4 beads loose okay see are these 4 yes they are 4 1 2 3 4 so this makes 14 this is 8 it's a single digit 8 there are no tens so we will get loose beads 8 okay let us have a look these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are 8 beads. The number is 8. There are no 10s. It's a single digit number. It means 8 ones. So these are loose beads. And they are 8 in number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So children, next time when you go to buy anything, you will not at all be confused. You would know exactly how much money to give 
to the shopkeeper. Okay, children. And we have learned how to expand a number. You know, when we give 43 rupees to the shopkeeper, what do we do? We give 4 10 rupee notes and 3 1 rupee coins. So that would make 40 and 3. So we have also learned the expanded form. Right? So that's all for today children. Thank you and have a nice day.